Gordon's High School. It is my pleasure to extend to you a very warm welcome to the commencement exercise for the class of 2010. Seniors, embrace the challenge with confidence, courage, and most importantly, the passion necessary to produce your very best effort. On a personal note, I want to congratulate each and every one of you. I will truly miss each and every one of you, our conversations, your smiles, and your laughter in the hallway. Remember these lessons we've learned as we move forward and leave this place. Irregardless, no, there will be mean girls out there. People who take joy in others' misfortunes. The best we can do is focus on our own achievements, where we want to go, and where we are headed. As we start our new journey, Portage and all the memories created here will be with us. And a part of every heart will remain here in these halls. And as the hush falls then, within them, a part of us will always remain whispering. You go, Glen Coco. <laughs> Fellow graduates, parents, teachers, administrators, staff, family, and friends. What's up? I cannot help but feel lost, afraid, and alone. My future is unknown. Blank pages in the chapters of my life. When I told this to one of my friends who just graduated from college, he told me this, stay strong. It is when you have no idea what's ahead of you that your character truly gets to shine. So let it. High school will always be a place where friendships were made some were, and while some were lost. Heartbreak has happened for many, and for some, love was found. To sum it up, I believe the word would be drama, drama, drama. And although there was drama, and it wasn't always easy or fun to wake up every morning to get to class on time with your homework finished, I personally would not trade even one day for anything. And please, do not forget the memories you have made here because each day has built on the next. Most people think that a typical valedictorian is either A, a king, B, a mega genius, C, a nerd with no life, or D, what's a valedictorian? <laughs> I want to remind you all that I am E, none of the above, and that my successes would not be possible without my classmates. Therefore, I believe I am not alone in claiming this distinction. The real honor belongs to my classmates who have challenged themselves the most during their time at Portage. It should go to the students who went from having straight D's to being on the honor roll, the artists who have won award after award after award, and the athletes who have carved a great name for our school. <laughs>